brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> especially in a world where there, there are, are no guarantees, of course. I know that. But why the hell should they care if my Jaguar is green or Jungle Red is my favorite new color? Just an old color from the 40s, but to put it in green bottles, paint it on some hot new star, and pretty soon everyone believes because people, people really want to believe. And I people! But there just doesn't seem to be anything you can count on. If you can't count on Ed McMahon and Dick Clark, and Ed McMahon and Dick Clark, and I'm your lawyer. I'll sue the son of a I will not be wrong with my million just because of some stupid. I don't think I'll be
language and meaning, and the anxiety of lives cut loose from their moorings and set adrift on a sea of medical waste. Hey, how about a song? The world of brain death. The world of tabloid dementia. The world of where it, the need for information has been replaced by the need to buy a vow. <laughs> the world of incredibly talented women with, with a 17 inch waist. waist. Wander amidst the icons, fantasies, Costa Robin, nuclear reactors, and roach motels of a civilization determined to entertain itself to death. A world where the evening news has been replaced by the Wheel of Fortune. Again, where the world where the need for information has been replaced by the need for a mouth. Again, <laughs> an amazing world where even the mundane has become totally Expiring minds want to know. Whose idea was flavored douches? <laughs> Come on now, mountain spring, cherry fizz. How about trail mix? <laughs> we do not understand one size fits all. <laughs> I don't understand why men have pet names for their penises. Stand up, Mr. Bobo, stand up! I don't understand why I got 104 television stations and I still can't find anything to watch. And now the thrilling conclusion to today's episode of All My Hospitals. Hello, David. It's Veronica. I know I promised I would tell you today, but if you insist on going to Sri Lanka, you must fly Lufthansa or I won't tell you where your son is. Oh, you bitch, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody thinks that I don't know where little Austin is, but That's right. I do. Bullshit, she's lying, David. <laughs>
this? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you get a grip. Just settle down and you let them get you hooked on this stuff. You just gotta remember this is hallucination. It's not real. Wait a minute. I'm real. <laughs> I get up at 5 a.m. every morning while you're still sleeping off another drunk and I go to work. Do you know what that word means? Work? God, a Republican hallucination. <laughs> do you? Oh, of course I do. No, no, mistake, mistake. Do not start arguing with the TV. And what I do is important, sweetheart. Don't call me sweetheart. Watch your temper. Watch my hand. Oh, <laughs> that's it. Retreat to the vulgar. You're not real. You're not real. You're an illusion. Then why are you talking to me? Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm not crazy. But real people don't talk to illusions, only crazy people do that. So if you're not crazy and you do, then you must not be real. What? You heard me. I'm just tired. I'm lonely. I'm tired of what? Of you. Then throw me out. Oh, I don't have to. I'll just turn you off. Uh, uh, uh. No, you won't. Why not? Because I know why David is going to Sri Lanka. Oh my god, tell me! <laughs>
<laughs> At least they're not Republicans. <laughs> That's it, Marge. Joke about it. Laugh it off. You are so funny. My God, I carried those two beings in my womb, and now they're like strangers. Mean strangers. And the guilt is really overpowering sometimes, so I try to do something with them, you know? Spend the day together, talk about our problems, open up a little. But I can't handle that. So I take them to the movies instead. And we go to this mall with six screens, and I wander from one small tacky room to the next, searching for beauty. Meanwhile, they wander from room to room watching Mutant Ninja Reptiles, The Terminator, <laughs> Sharon Stone. <laughs> and Rambo, parts one through infinity. <laughs> I don't really care. They can't bomb up any worse than they already are. Mm -hmm. Just their bomb is I don't much watch that shit. It scares me. It really does. Like the fire in Bambi scared me. He had have to shot his mother. I don't know, it was a horrible fire. And, well, I don't know what happened after that. <laughs> But I know it turned out all right. It always did. It always should. But I love my kids. I just wish I could like them. Or even talk to them. Nah, never happened. Let's face it, they're terrorists. And I'm just bippity boppity boo. <laughs>
Way too fat to be proud. And my hip and her hips are too wide. Way too wide for the bro. 
kids drive in when we'll sign your book. Oh, oh, hey, guys! Hey, Mom! Can I with Kenny? You do it, I'll kill you. I can't do two. Why not? Here. Oh, four? Oh, I can't do four. Why not? Cat's here. Ew! Ew. Ew. I can't. Why not? Kenny! No! Kill you! Oh, 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 oh,
will now have a brief intermission. The bar is open. Oh, are you ready to rise up for diet? Oh, 
figure out whether you're type A, B, C, Christian, Jew, or lesbian, right? <laughs> right. No, why? Because you're none of those things. That's just a bunch of lies somebody made up to sell you more books. But don't worry. The staff on our show is our experts in everything, Judy. Jolene. Whatever. Neil. Watch him stay, everybody. Let's bring in those experts and get her some help so she can rise up.
grocery shopping linked to menopause. <laughs> there was a time in my life when I really enjoyed those bi-weekly trips to Safeway. Back then, it still mattered to me if my heart was clean and I was capable of reaching you for sake of fresh produce.
not quite good enough for them all this time, all these years. I've tried that. Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> a 
learned about sex in school from a film. There was this little sperm, and he was all dressed up in a tuxedo. <laughs> and he came up, swimming up to a big egg in a dress, and gave her flowers. <laughs> oh, bad. <laughs> Our sex education was very explicit. Catholic school, don't you know? Sex from a nun, right? Sister Mary Hygiene. <laughs> no mystery, no mumbo jumbo, just penis, ejaculation, vagina. <laughs> I discovered my vagina with my first period when my mother gave me a tampon and said, Here, put this in your vagina. <laughs> for Barbie out of Q-tips and scotch tape. Shortly thereafter, when my friends came to play, we would have Barbie orgies. My boyfriend, Bud, decided he wanted to do it for his birthday. Happy birthday to you. Put an end to those lonely nights, or for Jane, the living girl doll. <laughs> so, he picked me up. We went straight to the parking road. It was 6.30. It wasn't even dark yet. All orifices fully functional. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. The next time my friends came to play, we undressed all our Barbies, Mitches, Skippers, Allens, and Kens. Between the five of us, we had 18. <laughs> so anyway, by 7 o'clock, it was all over. By 7.15, Bud had me home. Happy birthday, dear Bud. <laughs> Inflator pump not included. So I walked in, said goodnight to my parents, completely unaware of the large red spot on the back of my blue box. <laughs> so I turned and walked to my room, and my mother followed me, and she said, uh, Have you started your period? I was quick on my feet. I said, Yes. And she said, no, you haven't. Your last period was two weeks ago. Oh, my God! Your mother kept track of your period? She was very religious. <laughs> so what did you say? What could I say? My blue cool off my lid. Oh, How God. about an angel of the Lord appeared? <laughs> I have a child. Fall on your knees. <laughs> Years later, I learned that she stayed up all night praying for me. Eventually, I put Barbie away. I mean, after the orgies, everything seems so anti-climactic. <laughs> oh, I, I did divorce her from Alan so that she and Ken could get together, just so the whole thing would come out right, the way it was really supposed to. I wanted to marry Bud. I'd still like to get married. I don't know. Marriage is a lot like aerobics. Momentary jumping heartbeat for a lot of sweat. <laughs> <laughs>
I got a couple of things I need to get off my chest. I am not a man hater. I just hate men. <laughs> they have ruined the damn planet in the name of profit. Cut down the rainforest to make burger wrappers. Uh, sold timber back and forth between countries like some matchsticks and some poker game. Polluted not just one ocean, but seven. Seven. <laughs> they created chemicals that burned the flesh off women and children. Uh, then they sold bad baby formula to mothers in India. And then they drove the whole world to war to get oil for their supercars, <laughs> which they have somehow come to equate with their dicks. <laughs> and let me tell you guys, most of you think you're earning, but in my experience, you're all a bunch of Hyundais. <laughs> and they don't want to wear rubbers because I can't feel anything. Well, guess what, pencil dicks? We never have felt anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll put it this way. If, if a car demands a 30 seconds of an inch, every little bit helps. <laughs> months and then passes a bowling ball through a body opening, then we'll be interested in what you have to say. Until then, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and shut up about us putting on makeup while we're not Hell yes, I do that. Because I have a job too, you know, and I'm late because I had to feed my kids, his kids, and our kid, six different kinds of Pop-Tarts while he's not reading the financial section, checking out socks he'd be too stupid to buy if he had any money. You boys, and you boys, have had about 8,000 years running things, and your solution for everything is you just fight it or fuck it. <laughs> you can't drive for shit. You won't use a map because you don't know how to read one. The world was just lit up, and your idea of romantic intimacy is so baby, baby. So, so, just, we had it. So grow up, damn it. Oh, the next time one of you assholes cuts me off on the freeway, just remember this. The only difference between me and Lorena Bobbitt is I can throw farther. <laughs> nice. I feel a lot better. <laughs> oh, and um, please recycle. <laughs>
your time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.